All right, guys. I want to take a few minutes to show you all some of the trucks we got in here. We got several different air kits in, and I want to take the opportunity to kind of talk about the differences between them. So on this new Ram here, I think it's a 21 model. Um, it's a factory equipped air truck. So it's got air front and rear um, that is selectable, uh, you know, in the cab with different modes um, so that you can air up and air down. Now, of course, the factory limits you. You don't have a huge range. It's a couple inches that you can go up and down. Now we're doing a six inch lift. This is a ready lift kit and it maintains the functionality of the factory air kit. Now on this one, we've done a, a BDS five inch lift with the Elite Series shocks. Uh, this is a, I think this is also a 21, uh, 2500 AT4. Um, now on this one, we did a uh, ready lift dual bag setup. It mounts on top of the spring like so. Works really well for lifted trucks um, because the block is under the axle. So with having the extra lift, it doesn't. It's not affected by the bags. And they have a little more uh, extension, so they work good with the longer shocks as well. Uh, the air management on this one is also by Ready Lift. It's their Logic U. And let's see if I can get you in here to see it. It's kind of hidden in the frame rail. We, we like to put these kind of out of sight where you don't see them and they're protected. Um, this is a newer kit. Um, we've done several of the uh, bag kits by Ready Lift, but this is the first uh, controller system that we've used from them, their management system. Um, we've been happy with it so far. Seems to work very well. Um, this one uh, on this Tundra, it's getting a 7-inch uh, BDS. Uh, also a coilover conversion and uh, an airlift rear bag setup and their uh, air management system. Now, these are not to be confused with, you know, uh, air ride as in you can alter your ride height with the bags. These are for overload purposes to, uh, when you load the truck down, you can pick the truck back up to level uh, with, by just bumping up the pressure in your bags. Uh, and you'll have your, the, the management system has its own board co uh, compressor that handles that for you. You can buy the bags without the management and just air them up yourself manually, but uh, that's time consuming and not very convenient. Now, on the flip side, you can have something like this that we built a completely custom suspension for. Um, and instead of having leaf springs, um, it's four link. And can it has about I think this one's got around 11 inches of travel up and down, and that is completely used for altering the ride height. And on this one, it's got an airlift performance uh, management system that we've built a cradle to hold it and the tank and keep it out of sight. Let me see if I can get you a better shot of that. And this truck, you know, goes up and down a lot more than what you're bags for towing you're going to do. Totally different setup. So, you hear the compressor kick on, and on this setup you also, we had to build custom exhaust to route around all of this suspension and clear everything when it's fully aired out. So hopefully that'll answer some of your questions. Uh, we get a lot of guys that don't see that don't understand the difference uh, between a full air suspension and an air overload. Uh, so hopefully that'll help answer some of that. And as always, make sure you like the video, subscribe, stay tuned for more.